A bird in the hand may be worth two in the bush, but sometimes it can be worth much more. A bird in Margaret Rohde's hand may well provide the information needed for scientists to understand, and even reverse, the steep population declines experienced recently by many species of North American birds. The populations of one-third of North American birds are in decline, and some species, once common to southeastern Pennsylvania, such as chimney swifts, meadowlarks, and field sparrows, are declining rapidly. Researchers are trying to figure out why. To help find the answer, in the spring of 2015, Wissahickon Valley Watershed Association naturalist Margaret Rohde established a bird banding station at WVWA's Crossways Preserve. The site is one of over 1,200 such stations across North America that are part of a program called the Monitoring Avian Productivity and Survivorship Program, or MAPS. Over the course of eight days in the field, Margaret captured birds using mist nets, nylon nets so thin the birds cannot detect them, and placed a lightweight aluminum band on each bird's leg. Bands are issued by the U.S. Geological Survey and are each uniquely numbered, which means each bird receives a unique identity. After a bird is banded, its species, age, and reproductive status are recorded, as well as morphological measurements such as weight, wing length, and body condition. This information then becomes part of an international database and contributes to a body of research on the abundance, distribution, and ecology of birds in response to their global population declines. Over time, the MAPS program seeks to understand what factors most influence bird survival and productivity. Over the course of the summer season at Crossways Preserve, a total of 154 birds were caught across 22 species. Over 30 visitors and volunteers were welcomed to the station to learn about bird banding and avian research.